hello everyone welcome here this lecture you are going to learning database which is an important communication gateway from front end app to back end database so which is also called as database connection from django to postgres sql server so let's see in our project here it is a created django api this project settings.py file open this settings.py file and scroll down up to this level like uh, you will be find out a slot of uh, databases beautiful and here you may observe default database is sqlite it is there and we are going to be like a uh, taken earlier these details which is uh, like a database engine name user password these details we are adding here see database engine django.db.backends.sqlite here you can change post gre sql and put a comma and here you need to simply remove these details name of the database what is the name of the database you placed i am placed rest api db put a single quotes and also you may check it once if your uh, like a pg admin is open let's check here it's a rest api db is my database name this is the database perfect and go for the next parameter is put a single quotes capital letters user 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 what, like what is the username for our database we have created while installation it's a post gre s post gre s post grace and the next parameter is password put a single quotes and the password you have to specify and strongly remember it shouldn't be shared with anyone so single quotes host yes host is my computer mission i'm using the same mission so i'm putting local host if you are using any other mission for database sql connection you just place the ip address of that mission and should be ensure the connection when it is going to be establishing and connecting permission to be there for that server and accessing permissions so the port 54332 is a default port for postgres sql server strongly remember like a json format it's a, like a json format and the last it's not require any comma it's okay rest api db yes so these are the parameters are very very important how it is specified in the settings.py file and control s to save this file in the next lecture we'll see how to apply orm migrations yes so strongly remember clearly you can write all these steps like an engine name user if you are changed any new user created you specify and password yes the password which you have created i am specified simply root which is not shareable and are not recommended for the production password it is a more critical all special characters we have to put and host it's a local host and port 5432 so this is an academic purpose only i'm doing such a lecture so i'm sharing everything to understand keenly for beginners as well as the professionals catch you in the next lecture see you